Skywatch Media News for April the 8th, 2021. Over the past few years, there has been an increased effort by government agencies to begin the implementation of strategic plans to detect and mitigate the threat posed by near-Earth objects. The threat of a wayward asteroid heading towards Earth has always been a favorite fantasy of sci-fi publications. But for the scientists at NASA, the threat level is no fantasy. It is very real. It would require immediate attention and a plan of action if one were to stray dangerously close to the planet. In anticipation of such an event, the space agency has devised a solution to the inevitable dilemma, a project that comes straight from the sci-fi movies. The project, known as the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, is a space technology breakthrough which involves the implementation of a kinetic impactor technique which is designed to change an asteroid's motion in space. The mission spacecraft, which is known as DART, is actually a planetary defense system which was designed to prevent an asteroid impact here on Earth. The spacecraft is designed to be launched directly into a threatening asteroid at a speed of 6.6 .6 kilometers per second. The direct impact between the two would supposedly force the asteroid to change its orbital speed. The speed reduction would most likely be a fraction of a percent, but hopefully enough to divert its earthly trajectory. The launch of the DART defense spacecraft is scheduled for July of this year by a SpaceX Falcon rocket. After separation from the rocket, the spacecraft will cruise through space for an entire year. At some point within the year, it will intercept the asteroid Didymus and its smaller moon. Although Didymus is not considered to be a threat to Earth, it will pass close enough to be chosen as a mission target. The spacecraft will collide with the asteroid's moon, and once the Didymus system comes within 11 million kilometers of our planet, astronomers will be able to determine what impact, if any, the spacecraft will have on the velocity and the orbit of the asteroid. Scientists are hopeful that the man-made collision will change the speed of the moonlet by a fraction of 1% and thus alter its orbit around the larger asteroid by as much as several minutes, which will allow for the observation and measurements by telescopes here on Earth. Prior to this year, NASA had indicated that there were few options available to them in preparation for an incoming asteroid. But now, with the implementation of DART, there is at least a chance that we may be able to deflect a large asteroid without resorting to the nuclear option, or without having to sit it out in underground facilities for an indefinite period, not knowing what to expect when the dust settles and we re-emerge from our protective bunkers. Remember the sci-fi films Armageddon and Deep Impact, in which scientists deployed nuclear weapons in an attempt to destroy an asteroid before it reached Earth. The thought of using nuclear weapons was considered as a viable elimination tactic, but in reality, it's not a good option. Blowing up an asteroid would only result in the formation of many smaller rocks, each of them still directed towards Earth, a scenario, if it were to play out, that would cause severe damage across the globe. But scientists are hopeful that DART will not have to be used for the specific purpose of diverting an incoming asteroid, at least not for the immediate future. The infamous asteroid Apophis, which astronomers had been keeping a watchful eye on since its discovery in 2004, is no longer considered to be a threat to the Earth, at least for the next 100 years, according to NASA's most recent observations. Although Apophis is expected to make a very close approach to the Earth in the year 2029, 
Fresh observations of the near-Earth asteroid show that the space rock designated 99942 has been removed from the risk list maintained by the NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies. The risk data list includes a set of asteroids that graze so close to the Earth that a possible future impact cannot be ruled out. The removal of Apophis from the list provides a sense of relief to astronomers who provided the new information after Apophis flew past the Earth on March the 5th at a distance of 0 0.11 astronomical units. With the observation of the flyby, astronomers had used radar at Arecibo's observatory to further determine Apophis's path around the Sun. Unfortunately, the radar telescope located in Puerto Rico collapsed in January of 2020, as shown in this dramatic video footage. As a result of the Arecibo collapse, the Apophis observations were reassigned to the Goldstone Complex in California, as well as the Green Bank Telescope in West Virginia. These telescopes provided good news with respect to future encounters with the giant asteroid Apophis. The Goldstone and Green Bank observatories obtained imaging of Apophis in early March where Goldstone transmitted a radar signal and Green Bank received the reflection. The new imagery will help astronomers in determining the asteroid's rotation rate and its axis spin. The information obtained by the imagery was then relayed to NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office, which works with various observatories in the United States and across the world in obtaining the latest information about threats posed by space rocks. The latest information helps in predicting the asteroid's close orientation with Earth in the year 2029, since a close flyby with our planet could cause a change in the asteroid's spin rate or could cause asteroid quakes on its surface although neither event is expected to drastically change the course of its passage. Although we may be out of the woods when it comes to Apophis striking the Earth this century, there is a disturbing trend taking place with respect to asteroids that are passing within one lunar distance of the Earth. The number of uh, asteroids that fall into this category in 2021 now totals 45 as shown by the Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, dated as of April the 6th. In 2020, the number of asteroids that fell into this category through April the 30th totaled 38. Likewise, in the year 2019, the number of asteroids within one lunar distance through April the 30th was 20. What looks to be happening here is a trend that indicates an increase in asteroid close encounters over a specific period of months. The same trend is seen when we take the totals for the year 2020 and compare them to the year 2019. Again, there is a clear trend developing. If the first quarter of 2021 is any indication of a trend, then we can expect the numbers at year's end to be equal to or greater than the previous year. Many of you may agree that we are living in strange times, and when times get tough, we often find ourselves searching for an answer to the most fundamental question that all of us seek. Why are we here? No doubt our journey on this planet is as vast as it is sacred, but I've often found that the best way to calm our earthly concerns is to be alone with the sky on a clear and moonless night communicating with the eternal voices 
and knowing that the sky is our true home. Be safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. And always keep looking to the sky.